Hey guys, welcome to the show. JB here, excited you're with me. Super pumped. We're gonna have a great one today. Talking about changing systems. When the heck do you do this? And have you bought so far into it you can't change? Well, we're gonna talk about that. But before we do, just real quick, Voya over at My Deep Guide, congratulations, he just hit 10,000 subscribers plus. That's a huge milestone for us independent, uh, independent YouTubers. I just want to applaud him. He does such a good job of diving in and doing really deep reviews. I mean, I think, I think Voya should do technical manuals for those guys. I mean, he does such a good job. We're here. We're about the energy and fun. And, uh, and, and thank God for Voya because he has the patience to be able to put those things together. And that allows us to do what we do. And I really appreciate him and, and, and appreciate you as a community going over and supporting him and getting him past 10,000 plus which is great. Uh, today's topic is really about yesterday's topic. I posted uh, the, uh, about the Onyx Max Lumi being a little bit too good, meaning it wouldn't replace my iPad in my workflow. And we had the best dialogue. As, as I always say, in this community, within these frameworks of the things that we discuss, we have the best subscribers. In fact, I don't know everything. Please read the comments. We have so many people that post really well thought out comments that help other people. That's what makes this, this community, this channel special. And in discussing that and, and looking at the, you know, the comments yesterday, some people were saying, well, you know, you got so many devices that, you know, you don't really need that device. And that's true. And I think the point that I was trying to make is everybody's workflow is different. Everybody's system's different. Nothing against that. In fact, I was talking to somebody on Facebook this morning, how much I love it. I think the Onyx Books Lumi is great. It's just that 90% of the things I would use with my iPad, and for a lot of people, maybe they don't have the iPad and they just have the Remarkable. So it's neither here nor there. It's just, what is your workflow? And what I'm gonna do is give you my thoughts and then you know we'll have a dialogue about it. And like I said, in the comments is where there's real strength because we have people with all different you know, walks of life that bring different ideas, and that's really what it's about. But let's talk about these systems because it is really interesting when you really think about systems, right? So for me, for example, the camera system. So I'm using the Sony uh, A7S 3 with this 16 by 35 GM uh, uh, lens on it. Now these are brand new cameras. I used to shoot on Panasonic's and small Sony's. So I don't even know how to use these. Like I'm learning lighting and part of the reason I do YouTube is this is just a hobby. I'm and just a secret, Shh, don't tell anybody. One secret is I want to do a horror movie one time. Yes, I'm a positive coach. And that's what I do, but I want to do that one day because I grew up in, 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 the, in the late 70s and at 10 years old, my parents took me to see Halloween. And ever since then, I've watched almost every horror movie. I've read so many horror books. It's like my fun little thing that I do. One day I want to make a horror movie. So I got to learn this stuff. So I'm brand new at this. And in doing this, I changed to the Sony system, right? So now I'm learning how to do these cameras and, and investing in a system so I'm kind of a brand advocate for them, right? Because I am using their tools. Same thing with Remarkable or Onyx or whatever you've invested in, you tend to become a person that's with those people because you've invested in it. Nobody wants to tell you that your Remarkable's junk or your Onyx is junk. And I, I never do that unless it is junk, right? It's just, we get so invested in these brands. It's interesting to me. I think Apple has done such an amazing job with this from a marketing perspective that they have made people that are like a cult. Like it's like Apple or die, right? Or Google or Android. And everybody, you know, gets on the side of the fence and they fight. I am Apple, I am Microsoft. Well, the truth is we're none of these things. And what I want to talk about in this video is when do you know to switch, right? For me, even clothing is a very important part of it. Like these shirts that I'm wearing right now is kind of a uniform. I, I buy into uniforms, okay? Meaning I don't have to think about what I need to put on before I do something. And so these shirts I get on Amazon and I just utilize these for shooting video, right? So I have these kind of same kind of style. When I speak, I use uh, Hugo Boss shirts, I use diesel jeans, and I use Kohan pants. So when I go to New York, and I usually speak up in New York, you know, not COVID now, but a good example is New York or Paris, or when I'm in bigger cities, and where I'm at, I go to Aventura, if I have a speaking event, I literally will go, like when I get to New York, first thing I do is I go a day early, I'll go to Diesel, get the latest jeans, I'll go to Hugo Boss, get the latest shirt, and then I'll go to Kohan and get the latest shoes. And what that does is it gives me a uniform for my keynote speaking and I don't have to think, I don't have to pack, I just know when I get there. Now, I always pack the same, like the last style Hugo Boss jeans and shoes just in case they're not open or something happens, but I've never had an issue with that. 
And typically, if I'm going to some place, let's say, uh, that doesn't have the fashion district, and believe me, I'm not a fashion guy. This is all about the uniform. This is all about not having to think and being able to go and perform the best I can on stage. I will go to, let's say, to, I don't know, Wyoming, and I have a keynote speech there, and I got to go speak. I will go to Aventura, and same thing. I'll go, or to Boca Raton, which is by me. There's two different malls, and I'll go right to Diesel, get me a new pair of jeans, go right to Hugo Boss, get the latest shirt. I do wear a collar that's about as dressed up as I get, and then I'll go get my shoes. So those are systems, right? So I've got my systems for my cameras. I've got my systems for my note taking. I got my systems for my my Macs, you know, or my my computers, my video editing, and then I have my clothes so I can be as productive as possible. Steve Jobs used to do the turtleneck, right? So for me, having things that I know I don't have to think about allows me to produce the amount of content that I do, be able to write books and those things by simplifying this. But with that being said, I have to buy into systems. So when do you change? When do you change a system that you've bought into and you're in the ecosystem and you're really utilizing it daily? Let's talk about that. Okay, number one, the first reason that I would sway change a system is because of productivity and efficiency. For example, I was using Panasonic GH5s and small Sony cameras, and they're great. I was using the RX100s. I still have them. I use them for a little bit of B-roll, which is the secondary shot sometimes when I'm doing creative videos. But at the end of the day, what I found was I had learned the Panasonic system, but the audio focus was off, which was costing me time because if the focus didn't come in and out or the focus went in and out, I was getting ready to edit the video and I'd have to reshoot the video. What I found with these Sony cameras is they are so good at the autofocus that I could just shoot and go. Like right now, it's just right on my eye. This thing's awesome. And I've learned that those Sonys are great. So now where I'm at, I'm in a learning curve. And I have to learn now this whole new system. So I can't switch to a Canon because Canon came out with the coolest thing because I'm just investing into this system, into their lens system, into their body system. And specifically lenses get really expensive. And as you buy all that glass, I'm not going to switch from the Sony system. So they kind of got, got me, right? But when you're looking at changing, there's got to be a reason. You just don't want to get the new iPhone because it's fashionable. You want to get it because it's going to enhance your productivity if it's going to. And that leads me to my second point. Does it help you with your return on investment? If you're spending time and energy in it, are you going to get an ROI on it? The Onyx Max Lumi, we talked about it yesterday. For me, it doesn't replace my iPad. And I already have the Remarkable 1 and Remarkable 2 for my note taker. So it doesn't fit into my system. Does it make it a bad device? No. Does it make Canon cameras a bad camera or Panasonic a camera, bad camera? No. Those are not systems that I use or utilize. I could, but they're, they're just different systems. So I think you've got to look at your ROI on it and say, okay, what is the best device for my use case? As I talked about yesterday, it was really interesting because people really get religious about this, right? It's like, no, like you can't talk bad about the product that I have bought. The truth is everybody has different systems. And this is what this channel is for is to show all these systems, but I'm also gonna give you my opinion on what I do because a lot of people like to hear it as I go out and keynote and write my books and do the things because I've got this real unique lifestyle. People like to know what I do, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you about all these devices, but I'm not gonna tell you not to buy them. There are a lot of great Canon shooters out there. I don't know what Voya uses, right? Everybody has different tools. I'm just sharing you with what I, what I want. So what you wanna look for is the second thing is what is the ROI on the thing that you're buying? If you're gonna buy the new phone because you're gonna to switch to that system, is it really worth it? Is it worth purchasing that, okay? And the third thing that I want you to think about is, is the technology getting more modern? So eight years ago or nine years ago, I wore true religion jeans with that big patch on the back and that's what my uniform was. So when I speak, if you've never seen me speak, I'm, I'm just an authentic person. I don't wear a suit and tie. I wear t-shirts. You know, I've done the affiliate summit. I used to do all the blog worlds. I've, I've keynoted all over the world. And basically I just wear a t-shirt, okay? Or a shirt, nice shirt, my Hugo Boss and jeans and some shoes. And Kohan's always been a standby for me. It just works. I do use Belez and a couple of shoes that I get in, in Colombia. They're actually Italian, but pretty much Kohan is the shoes. Diesel works for me. And then Hugo Boss. The problem is, that the true religion jeans with those big pockets went out of style really bad. So if I still wore true religion jeans when I was speaking, I wouldn't be keeping up with the time. So the other reason you may switch a system is to get better technology. 
something that again is going to increase your speed and efficiency, but also keep you up with the times. You know, if I was shooting this on my cell phone, I may be able to get away with it, but it wouldn't be as quality as this is, and we wouldn't be growing and really developing what we're doing. And it wouldn't lead me to more my goal is, is to understand cameras. Not that I'll ever shoot a horror film, as I've said, maybe I'll produce one one day, but I do want to learn this world at 51. So this is all brand new. So in order to do that, I've got to commit to a particular system. So if you do those three things and you just stop before you go make that investment and you buy that next device, like me, I'm always buying these devices. Thank God I get to review, so I get an excuse. But the truth is, if I didn't have the ability or needed to do this, I would need to pick systems. And it's not that I want to get religious about it and become a fanboy. Oh, I'm an Apple guy. It's just I need to have the tool that works for me and be committed to the tool, not so much the system. And I hope that makes sense. And so I'm looking at what is the fastest way they're going to have speed and efficiency. A good example of that is I've always had Apple Macs. I use them. But now I'm coaching people and telling them they don't need Max. If you're not producing video, if you're not doing audio, go get something else. I have a Google Pixel that I write with that I absolutely love the keyboard. And it's my writing computer. It's fast. It opens up quick. It's efficient. And it gets the work done. And guess what? It's a lot less expensive. So match the tool that you want and watch your brand loyalty because they want to get it. Sony wants me to be a, somebody that talks good about them. Remarkable wants me to talk good about them, right? It just is what it is. That's what these companies want. I never want to be an influencer. Some people say I am. I don't care. I, this is fun for me. At the end of the day, that's why I'm doing it. When it stops being fun, I'll stop doing it. But right now I'm having fun. And the reason I'm having fun is I get to share this wisdom and share some tools with you that I actually use. So again, what are some systems I use? I'm now a Sony guy that's brand new. So I've got to give that a year. This is one last thing I'll tell you is that whenever I change systems, I always try to give it at least a year. That way I can understand it, the menus and get into it, and really understand it. As far as my basic computer needs, I'm an Apple guy. I'm not going to hide that. I've been using Apple for years. I use Final Cut for my video editing. I use GarageBand for my, uh, my podcast recording and I've used the Apples for years. For my regular writing, I use a Google. I've gone into that world and I've gone into the Google system for my documents and my notes. I love their spreadsheets and their documents. I use that for everything and I use a Google Keep and that's why I use the Google kind of phone and I mean Google um, Pixel book to write with. Now I do have a Google phone, it's a secondary phone, but I primarily use my iPhone which matches my system, but I use a Google Calendar. So it's kind of crisscross, right? But that's my system that really works. I told you about my clothes that I use systems for, and then I have systems for everything. For my notes, I use my Remarkable right now, and the paper, the paper I use for collaboration with my coaching clients. So I have specific niche things that I need things for, and that's how I use my system. So I would love to hear down below in the comments from you, you know, what are you kind of, I would like to say addicted to. What is your religion? Are you like really into Onyx? Are you into Remarkable? You know, is there something that you're willing to fight for to say this is the best? Or are you kind of on the fringes going, well, this is what I use and I like these other areas, but I use these and this is kind of how I get by. I use Apple for this. I use Google for this and I use this for this, right? And there's, I mean, systems go all the way through even the type of car you drive. The type of golf clubs you use. You know, I'm a Titleist player with tailor-made uh, driver and three wood. We got our member member coming up with my my partner. He is Titleist. He uses Titleist golf ball, Titleist clubs. He will not switch. Right? That's his system. He will never use another company. He just won't. And that's what I think people get real loyal, right? And they get used to that brand and they just get attached to it. You know, I drive a BMW or Ford, whatever. I'm a Jeep guy. I used to have a Jeep, right? So I just caution you getting too overwhelmed or too into the brand and look for the reason I'm talking to you. Before you buy something new or switch into something new, does it increase your efficiency? Does it make you faster? Does it increase your ROI in time, energy, and effort? Remember, return on investment just isn't money. It's also in time, which is actually the most valuable uh, commodity. And the third thing, are you keeping up to the times? You know, do you need it? to move forward. You don't want to be out on that stage with those true religion genes. It just does, it's not a good look. That stuff's gone a long time ago, right? So staying up with things are really important. And you can do that by joining here, you know, hitting our subscribe, because that's what this is, a community to try to keep you up on things that are going to increase your productivity and help you be the best you can be and have some fun. 
that's what we're doing here. So as always, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, hey, hit that like button, it helps me. And then if you don't mind, leave a comment on what your systems are as we keep rolling. And I'll keep bringing you videos and some energy right here on the channel. So go out and have a great day. And until tomorrow, go make it happen. Thanks for being here.